own heritage to contribute to its extravagance. Each person playing their own part, giving what is close and dear to their hearts and only to do so for the sake of their theme, to help contribute to constructing the scene that makes every passerby stop and just stare. Not because the sight is something rare, but because of what stood there before, absolutely nothing. Just a lot of rubble on deserted land. The rocks crumbling away in a desolate valley. The wind blowing the dirt around, making the whole place sandy. A piece of land neglected, impossible to walk upon without cutting your shoes with broken glass. A horrible stench fuming into the nostrils of every person walking by because of the abandoned trash. But some people, when looking at this place, couldn't help but to feel a glimpse of hope, a light saying, plant the seed here. Let it grow as a part of your community. Feed it water to promote its fertility. So these people came together and decided to give all that they had, sacrifice all that they had, and slowly, the crumbled rocks pieced together to form walls for a building. The wind whisked the dirt away and the sun baked the sand into glass for this creation. The clothes from the donations pulled apart into threads and re-sewn together to form beautiful carpets which were laid down in rows upon rows, continuing on for what seemed like eternity. The itty-bitty leftover shards of glass assembled elegant chandeliers, a dome placed so simply above it all like a cherry on top to complete this magnificent mosque. Walking inside, a fresh scent would caress the nose of every human being, such as a flower would when it blooms. The light would shine the bright, rich colored rooms, but the source of the glow was not from the bulbs. It was from the angels surrounding a teacher and his pupils, all of them reciting for and from their hearts to their lungs until their tongues. The Sheikh teaching the beauty of Quran, never leaving, never leaving until each person reciting is done. Donating his time and wisdom every day, generosity is what causes him to stay. Every once in a while, the man giving the khutbah would say, وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ خَيْرٍ يُوَفَّ إِلَيْكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تُظْلَمُونَ Which means, and whatever you spend of good, it will be fully repaid to you, and you will not be wrong. Set so beautifully like a rhythm of a song, it would be engraved on the hearts of everybody that heard it for long. The masjid, the place of worship, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala symbolizes the religion, Islam. Promoting generosity and everything good all the time, just as we were told to do so by the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the Quran. And this canvas just grows and gets bigger as more people paint it, bringing different shades of hues and a variety of textures. There's a white area for each and every one of us with a palette of colors right beside it, a brush ready to be dipped and stroked across the median. What will you paint? What will you bring? What will you give with sincerity for the art of generosity?